All right, I really hope this doesn't blow up my gun. Firing in three, two, one. Welcome. Today we're gonna shoot my SIG Rattler. Wait a minute. It's just an AR-15 with no buffer tube. Well, let's shoot it anyways. This is an AR-15 that had a polymer 80 lower receiver that broke right here, as you can see where the buffer tube was at. So I figured before I throw it out, let's do a little science and figure out what happens when you shoot it without a buffer tube. I think we all know the answer, but we're gonna find out today. Hopefully, it doesn't break my upper receiver. This is a Palmetto State Armory 556 with an 11 and a half inch barrel. I took the optic off just in case I didn't want to break anything more than I had to. I have a system set up here that is pretty slick. All right, let me explain to you what we're gonna do. So we have the AR-15 right here hooked up to this plywood board. It is unloaded at the moment. It is not loaded, so don't worry. What we do is we have this string of baler twine connected to the trigger. We're gonna take it back here. This is my first line of protection, an impenetrable steel wall of plywood. Then we got a gap, then we got a wood pile, then we got another impenetrable steel piece of plywood, which brings us back here where I'll be hunkered down right in this area. We're gonna grab the, the rope, pull it tight, and have the gun go off. That's the goal. Let's see what happens. All right, the gun is loaded. Safety is off. Again, pointed in a safe direction. Let's get back and see what happens. All right, I really hope this doesn't blow up my gun. Do not try this at home. Firing in three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, let's go check it out. I got my GoPro and my phone recording, so we're gonna close up. The charging handle is sticking out. The bolt is right there. Can we see where it hit? No, I don't see where it may have hit, but again, the shell on the inside looks to have extracted we'll see if we can find that i think we're going to do it a couple more times i think i think we're okay the upper looks fine we're going to see what happens unfortunately i forgot to hit record on my phone i do have it on the gopro so you're going to see that but we are going to do it again because everything looks fine the charging handle looks fine the bolt i have inspected it it looks completely fine i can't find the cartridge but again we're going to try it again i think Overall, it worked out really well, but science takes more than one try. The trigger obviously did not reset in here, so it is, it is still up from the firing position, but of course it's not going to reset when the bolt comes flying out the back and doesn't reciprocate. Just figured I'd mention that. We again have the gun loaded up. I'm going to take it off safety, crawl back to my little hidey hole, and we're going to do this again. I have my phone recording and the GoPro recording. This time we're gonna get a good angle, but I think we're gonna be fine, evident from the first one. So, let's take the safety off. All right, safety's off, let's do this thing. All right, here we go, in three, two, one. All right, here we go, in three, two, one. All right, I have not looked yet, but my phone and my GoPro are still up, so I think we're good. Oh, this time the charging handle is gone. So down here we have the charging handle and behind that we have the bolt. Again, I'm not exactly sure what happened because I haven't seen the footage yet, but let's look at the gun. The gun itself looks fine. 
let's check out the footage again there's the charging handle there's the bolt let's look at the bolt quick looks fine to me you know I just looked at the footage and it wasn't as spectacular as I wanted it to be now I don't know what I was expecting it obviously flew out as I thought and we probably all thought was what was going to happen but I don't know it was it was cool what we really learned was if you had one shot left and you just needed to to poke someone out there you could do it I would just hold it off to the side here you know I'm not recommending it at all because this was an experiment in a safe condition YouTube please don't take this video down this was completely safe on a safe range just please but we learned you could do it and I don't think anything serious would happen to you I kind of feel like Bill Nye I'm not gonna lie you know Bill Nye has fallen off in the past few years but it's all right I would I would love to take Bill Nye's mantle so another cool thing I noticed watching the video back was I was wondering where the the shells went after they were ejected because usually they get ejected a couple feet you know straight to the right and I was looking around I watched the video and lo and behold they're right here they 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 barely fell out of the gun as obviously we'll see on the video they look fine there's that little little line right there right across there you don't usually see that let's see if it's on this other one yeah yeah see I'll try to get a good close-up of that right there there's a little line you don't usually see that so I don't know why it necessarily did that it doesn't look like it broke the case but that's interesting it kind of just pooped them out right next to the side of the gun so there's another something we learned if you don't have enough force the shells barely come out of the the casings I should say barely come out of the gun interesting interesting Bill Nye I'm coming for you all right I'm gonna show you guys how I load this so this gun is on safe the safety still works I grab the cartridge obviously drop it into the chamber make sure it's nice and well seated now here's the tricky part you kind of got to beat the bolt forward completely safe all right one last time for science All right, let's see. Looks like the same thing as the last three times. There's the bolt down there. This time the charging handle stayed in the gun. Gun looks fine. All right, taking a closer look at the actual gun pieces here. Here's the charging handle. Totally fine. It hasn't bent or anything, still works. Nothing broke on it. The bolt this time fell into some dirt as you can see there right there but other than that that'll come right out give that a nice nice wash and oh that might have actually been crap but it's all right no obvious marks on the bolt or anything it's just incredibly dirty because I don't clean my guns but other than that totally fine and the gun itself also is completely functional I don't think anything major or catastrophic happened to it looks fine to me overall success in my mind science here we come bill nye watch out i just want to point out here that at some point i cut myself for your guys's benefit so if you don't subscribe and like um that's incredibly rude of you i am literally bleeding out as we speak I'm just saying, I, I, I did this for you guys, and and I'm paying the price. So, I think you know what you need to do. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. So please, hit the subscribe button, the like button, comment, share, all the stuff YouTube likes, because they hate all the content that, that I make and that people like me make. So please, share it around, um, talk to your friends, and learn from today's experience, as we did learn together. All right, that's all I got for you. So... Remember, go buy a gun, talk to your pastor, and we'll see you all in the next video.